Hello, welcome back today to Bruce's investing series. Today we'll be go going over UPS's quarter one 2021 earnings. For those that are not familiar with what's going on in 2020, in 2020 we had a stay home order due to the global health issue. When there's a global health issue and people are staying home, consumer shopping will sh switch from, from retail shopping to online shopping. And two, two companies got the biggest benefit due to this is UPS and their competition, FedEx. Today, we'll be going over UPS's earnings. If you look at here in UPS on a year-over-year -year basis, quarter one 2020, quarter one 2021, if we look at here in the U.S., revenue increased 22.3%. Internationally, 36.2% increase in revenue and a supply chain and freight. 34.3% increase in re revenue, and total revenue for the company as a whole increased 27%, which is absolutely amazing for a company that's this old and this mature. And if you look at here, look at the revenue growth here. If you, if you notice here, a lot of operating expense, they have a massive increased operational expense. Too. I mean, this is not a surprise here. Whenever you see a big jump in revenue for UP, UPS, expecting the operating expense to jump up even higher. And if you look at operating profit, this is the this is the most most, most impressive part. If you look at the US domestic package segment, their revenue for this increased 273.4% year over year. Supply chain and freight inc revenue inc op operating profit increased 104.5%. Absolutely amazing news. If you look at here, look how old UPS is as a company. Look at the operating profit. This is the earning before before interest and tax. 157.9%. Absolutely monster return. And if you look at the other incomes, uh, other incomes here also have a nice nice increase as well. And now if you look at here, net, com net income as percentage of revenue, net income for quarter one 2021 was 20.9% compared to 5.4% in quarter one 2020. A lot of this has to, has to do with the do with sh uh, shopping online due to people still staying home, home or they're still worried about the global health issue. Now, if you, if you jump down to the operating here, Again, monster return here on a year-over-year -year basis. Now, if you look at the operating expense, if you notice, fuel costs actually increased by 6% year-over-year, which is surprisingly low. Consider consider how, how much more, more services UPS is, is handling, and their fuel costs only 6% increase. That, that, that shows you that they're very good at controlling costs. And the biggest jump in, in cost is the purchase transportation. That's the that's the biggest jump in, in in operating expenses. Now let's get down to cash flow. If we look at here, let's calculate the the current ratio. To calculate current ratios, you take total current asset divided by current liabilities. That gets you a current ratio of one point two eight. Again, that's a that's a very well, well financially precision here. You want the current ratio to be above one at 1.28. That's that's a good sign for the company. They're not at risk of insolvency. Now to calculate the total asset over the total liabilities, you take total asset divided by total asset minus minus the shareholder equity here. That gets you 1. Uh, 1.13 in total asset over total liabilities. Again, very good, good shape for this company. And if you if you look at here, under accounts receivable about, about 10 billion, and go to revenue. About 50% of UPS sales, it's on accounts receivable. Therefore, it's not a huge concern where the current ratio is only at 1.28, not a, not a big deal at all. Now, if you look at here from the free cash flow basis, 
quarter one 2020, the free cash flow was on a non-gap basis. It was about 1,616 value millions. Now to calculate the, the jump, to see the number increase, this is This is 129% increase in free cash flow. Absolutely amazing news here for, for UPS. Now let's get down to some of the highlights here. If you look at here, UPS's earnings per share, their earnings per share is at 5, 547, but they put some away for pensions and other for transformations. Therefore, the adjusting EPS is $2.77. This is a massive jump from quarter one 2020. In quarter one 2020, it was dollar fifteen for, for just the EPS. This is a, this is a more than double up, in, in earnings per share. Now, if you go down to some of the, the, the best part here. They, they forecast that the macro environment will be moving higher because for, for, the, for the year 2020, 2021, this is a recovery from what happened last year with these stay-at-home orders. And they expect that U.S. GDP will grow 6.2% and global GDP will grow 5.3%. With the growing GDP, UPS is expecting to capture a decent amount of that gain. And if you look here, average daily volume for UPS increased 12.8% lead by business consumer again. What happened in 2020, it was people switching from shopping in-store to shopping online. When more people shop online, this average volume will grow 12.8%. Revenue increased 22.3%. Absolute monster for a company that's this old and this mature. Operating profit, again, all segments have a nice increase. Consider how old this company is, that's a very impressive growth. Now for 2021, due to so many uncertainty, they're not providing any revenue or guidance for, at this time. That that's a, that's understandable because, again, for UPS and FedEx, a lot of their their great performance is due to people sh shopping from online. Now if we now let's forward to to UPS's conclusion here. Great, great report on their on their earnings. A lot of it has to do with has to do with online shopping. And also UPS, if if you don't know, UPS has a partnership with Amazon. Have you, if you ever ever had to return something from Amazon, you ever notice that they tell you to drop it off at UPS at free of charge? It's because UPS has a partnership with Amazon. UPS got a lot of benefit from, from Amazon and others. And lastly, to wrap up this video, UPS is is just just one of these companies where it, it rarely dips. It's a safe stock, safe dividend. Oh, almost forgot. Let's let's actually see UPS is dividend payout ratio to see how safe this dividend is.
you look here, UPS is paying you a dividend of 2.32%. The payout ratio is only 45.76%, which is manageable. Five-year growth rate is 6.4. They've been growing this dividend for 21 years. Again, UPS, it is trading at a premium valuation because how safe this business is. When a business is very safe, investors are not really going to sell out the stock to, to drive the stock price down because they feel safe owning it. So now with that being said, let's, let's wrap it up again. Company has a great report due to online shopping and people shopping a lot more online because of, of the global health issue and people staying home. UPS is a partnership with Amazon and they get a lot of benefit from, from Amazon because, because as more people buy stuff from Amazon, they will more, most likely you know, have more increase of return you know, to Amazon. Therefore, UPS gets a, not, not a nice benefit from this. UPS stock rarely ever dips. It's a safe stock, safe dividend. And here's a disclaimer at the, at the end of the video. Whenever you buy a stock, please do your own research, do your own due diligence. Do not just buy a stock just because I'm, I'm talking about it on this channel. And with that being said, good luck investing, everyone.